to calculate the opportunity cost, we can use the slope of our budget line. So the first thing we need to do is calculate the slope of the budget line. We constructed this budget line in a previous video. We had $100 and we could buy songs or DVDs. Songs cost a dollar, DVDs cost $5. Recall that this point here was found by taking our $100, dividing it by $1, and that gave us 100 songs. If we have $100, we can afford 100 songs. The other point on our graph was found by taking our $100, dividing it by the cost of a DVD, which is $20, and that tells us that we are able to afford five DVDs if we spent all of our money on DVDs. Once we have these two points, it's very simple to calculate the slope. Now slope is equal to rise over run, or you can look at slope as how you get from one point to the next. That is, how do we get from this point here down to this point here? Well, to get from one point to the next, we go down 100 and over 5. So our slope is equal to a negative 100, because we had to go down, divided by the 5 that we had to go over. This gives us a slope of negative 20. From the slope, we can get information about opportunity cost. We need to know about the opportunity cost of a DVD, as well as the opportunity cost of an MP3. When we talk about opportunity cost, we're talking about what we have to give up to get one more DVD or one more MP3. Well, the slope tells us how many of whatever's on the vertical we have to give up to get one up more of what's on the horizontal. So our slope of minus 20 tells us that we have to give up 20 songs. Tells us that we have to give up 20 songs to get one more DVD. And then we have to give up 20 more songs to get another DVD and so on. It gives us the opportunity cost of a DVD. The opportunity cost of a DVD is 20 MP3s. How do we get the opportunity cost of an MP3? Well, we could look at it from the other direction. How many DVDs do we have to give up to get one more song? How many DVDs do we have to give up to get one more song? This is the equivalent of 1 divided by the slope. Or we could switch what's on the horizontal and the vertical axis and calculate the slope the normal way. But the easiest way to do it is just to do 1 divided by the slope, which is equal to 1 divided by our negative 20, which is equal to a negative 0.05. Therefore, the opportunity cost of a song is equal to 5% of a DVD. When we talk about opportunity cost, we give them in positive values because the definition of an opportunity cost is having to give something up. So though your slope is negative, your opportunity costs will be positive.